Welcome to Launching the Pilot with your hosts, Brian and Paul. Hello and welcome to Launching the Pilot, episode 177. Season. <laughs> Still here. Still here, yeah. Yeah, I won't be here long. No, no, not, no, you'll be gone soon. Yeah, I'll be gone soon. Uh, this time we're doing Mork and Mindy, the, and the pilot, which was called the pilot. The pilot, the pilot. And uh, seems a proper, proper yeah. name. A lot of people have called yeah, the, pilot, the pilot. Pilot, yeah. And it's seventy-eight to eighty-two. Yeah. Um, four I've, seasons. Four seasons. I've, I've got. I think it's ninety. I've Four got episodes. One, but uh, yeah, yeah. I can't read my actual writing. Oh, well, no, we'll, we'll, <laughs> I scribbled it in the margin. We'll go, we'll go with nine something. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely in that league. And this is, of course, Robin Williams. Yes. Pam uh, Derber. Yeah, we're never good on names. Uh, I'm not good on her surname. I always get it wrong. And um, this is a Happy Day spin-off. As, yes, as, as I'm sure everyone knows. Yeah. And uh, the most famous Happy yeah, Day yeah. spin-off. Because uh, Mork appeared in two episodes of Happy Days, he does, apparently. and in this one he kind of tells you, doesn't he? he goes, yes. But we'll get to that bit. Yes, <laughs> we'll get to that bit. And this is the only thing that I've never dawned on me until now, that it is, it is set in present day for the time. It's not set in the 50s, no. the 60s. No, it is. There's yeah. all the other Happy Days spin-offs, as well. The Vernon Shirley, 50s to 60s, Happy Days itself, 50s to 60s. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure Fonzie actually appears in this, does he? No. Only as flashbacks. flashbacks. That's what I mean. That's what. That's why it's a flashback of Fonzie and not yeah. meeting him, because he'd be an old man. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it never dawned on me. All right. No. Until I just started watching I thought, yeah, it's present day for them. You know, not yeah. for us now, but for them. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was 78 to 82, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Space, the final frontier. Yeah. These, <laughs> these are the voyages <laughs> of the Starship Mork. Enterprise. <laughs> Mork is basically, he's talking to an egg. He is. Yeah. It's before the white desk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're saying, look, we don't have emotions, but you display far too much humour. No, you'll never learn to, to be one of us. Yeah, this is the shadow of Olsen, isn't it? Yes, it is. Olsen. Yeah, and he's, he's saying to him, yeah, you, you, you mess about too much. Yeah. yeah you, you, you know, we sent you to Earth. He does say that we sent, sent you to, to Earth, Earth. on does. a reconnaissance mission, yeah. don't we? And yeah. you messed about. And, yeah. Um, Besides that, you keep calling me funny names. I know what you call me. Yeah, yeah, you call me uh, awesome uh, to my face, but behind my back. Yeah, I've got rocket ship fires, <laughs> yeah. laser breath. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so we're sending you to Earth to yeah. learn all about humanity. Yeah, yeah, we're sending you back. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, am I in for it now. Set before the white desk again. But what did I do? The solar lander, you fool, you painted a mustache on it. But Orson doesn't know I did it. Then why am I here? If I knew that, I wouldn't be talking to myself. <laughs> Bork? Good morning, Orson. Orson. You call me Orson to my face, but behind my back you call me Fatso, rocket ship thighs, and star tush. You forgot laser breath. <laughs> Sorry, your immenseness. See what I mean? These constant displays of humor are not acceptable behavior here on Ork. You're right. We are rather a dull lot. The white bread of the universe. Emotions have been weeded out of us for the good of the race, and you constantly make jokes. I'm afraid that won't do. Uh-oh. There's an insignificant planet on the far side of the galaxy. From the fragmented reports we have on it, the people are, well, uh... Real Nimnos? Exactly. That's why I think you'll fit in there, Mark. You're too kind, sir. What is the name of this hell hole you're sending me to? Earth. Earth? I was on Earth three bleams ago. I was sent there by a biology class to collect a specimen. I had to throw it back, though. Too small. I love that place. Well, don't enjoy it too much. It's not a vacation. We want you to learn all we can about primitive societies. Your mission is to report back to me mentally about the things you learn there. And uh, then we've got Mindy and a boy. Yes, well, I say a guy and a girl, because we don't know it's Mindy. We well, do. I know it's Mindy. Well, we know that, but we, they're not introduced, are they? No, no, not, not as such. Well, they seem to be getting introduced, but... Yeah. Uh, 
uh, an egg land. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this giant egg yeah. appears. And it's Mork. He, it's he, Mork. Get, he gets out of the egg. Hatches. Yeah, he hatches. Yeah, he gets out. And uh, a smaller egg. Yeah, he says, sense. oh, yeah, he goes, oh, God, he's lost again. He goes, where's my other suitcase? Yeah. Uh, there should be two. Yeah. And a smaller oh. egg turns up. That opens up and it's his luggage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the boy is getting handsy, I've got, with the girl. Yeah, yeah. But she grabs him by the hair and yeah. pulls him back. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm not that sort of girl. It's only our third date or something. Yeah, I'm not yeah. like that. Uh, and, and then he, he says, well, I suppose I better drive you home. And she goes, I better do the driving because I want to make sure I get home. Yes. And so she gets out. He goes, why don't you just walk instead? She goes, I will. Yeah. And he drives off. And she goes, oh, that's my car. Yeah, so he's got to walk back, and then Mork's almost almost behind her, isn't he? Yeah, he, he's dressed as a priest. Well, he's got his suit on. Oh back. yeah, he's got his he's suit on back, back front. front. Yes, yes. So, so she thinks he's a priest. Yeah, and she goes, "Oh well, at least I'll be safe walking home with you, Father." Yeah, and then you get the opening titles. Yeah. I won't bother putting it in. That's no. good enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> Probably better than most of our attempts at yeah. singing the titles. <laughs> It's got, uh, I've got it. It can't be a long walk because no, they're now home. home. <laughs> and she says, "Oh, uh, is there anything I can offer you?" Uh, and she goes, "Oh, a, a glass of water, if you if you can spare it. If not, a quart of oil." Yeah. <laughs> and she goes, oh, "I can spare the water." Yeah. But, then, but in the meantime, he's already he's talked to the, the plants. plants. He's yeah, talking to the plants. He's ah, oh, uh, hello. Or what, I forget what he said. This is how they're treating you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the trouble is, you won't be able to mention all the jokes because there's so oh, many. Oh, there's so many. It's yeah. just absolutely been left, right, and centre. I couldn't. You couldn't. Mindy keep up. now realises that he's got his suit on back. Because he, he's talking to the plant, you can see behind. Yeah. Back of him. You, you, everyone now gets to see behind. Yeah, he goes, you got your suit on back to front. Goes, oh, <laughs> I feel like such a clone. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he tells her that. He's an alien. alien. Yeah. He's not from this planet. He, he's an alien and he's. Because he's got one silver hand, it's like his glove on. Mm. And he goes, oh, I just need to take a picture. So yeah. his hand flashes like a flash. Yes, yeah, right. Got it. Yes. And he goes, oh, I, I need this drink. And he puts his finger in the glass and drink. drinks through his finger, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. And she goes, what's this? And then suddenly there's a knock at the door. Oh, yes. And another egg <laughs> comes in, doesn't yeah, it? This is and he goes, oh, oh, my lost luggage. <laughs> I like the way, because he takes it out, but the egg won't go anywhere. He goes, oh, yeah. And he drops in some money inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it slowly sends up. Who are you? I am Mark from Ork. Na no, no, no. Ork? Yes, you see, Ork is a planet. You follow the Big Dipper till it comes to a dead end, then you hang an up. An up? Up, down, hard to tell out in hyperspace. Oh, right. I have a, a poor sense of direction myself. So, you're, you're from outer space? Yes, and you mind if I take a few pictures for the folks on the home planet? <laughs> They'd like to get some postcards. Oh, no. Okay, watch the fluky. <laughs> With my instrumental glove, some models starting in their 30th ribbits. <laughs> oh, mind if I do? <laughs> the paws are refreshers. You drink them with your finger. Yes, how do you drink? With my mouth? Well, how do you talk and drink at the same time? Must be Drool City. <laughs> Whoever you are. Now, you can't scare me. Now, there's no such thing as a man from outer space. Now, I don't know how you did those tricks, but if you just better keep your distance or you're going to hear me scream like you've never heard anybody scream. I've never heard anyone scream. <laughs> is that your way of saying thanks? Uh -huh. Help has already arrived, so you just stay cool, space man, or else... <gasps> And uh, uh, Mindy starts to believe now. Yeah, she says that he can stay really... as long as she can learn about him. Uh, she says, you won't harm me, you won't hurt me, will you? And he goes, oh, we, 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 um, orcs, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 are, we are kind to all life, or something. We don't harm um, any living thing. Hmm. <laughs> An alien! You're not going to hurt me, are you? Hurt you? No, damaging other life forms is unthinkable to us. I wouldn't harm a half on your chole cho cho. <laughs> it occurs to me we have not been formally introduced. A formal introduction is at hand. Ba -dee, ba -dee. 
Get down. <laughs> I am Mork from Mork. Nanu, nanu. I'm... I'm Mindy McConnell. I like a being with a firm gribbit. Shows character, at least evolution. Oh. Oh, thank you. Uh, how do you say thank you in your language? We spit. Mind if I don't say thank you? No sweat off my front. <laughs> And he goes, luckily, I'm just facing the crowd and I won't stand out. Yeah. And she goes, um, <laughs> you might. Yeah. Now, now we're at the music shop and I've got dueling banjos on keyboards. Because yes. there's, a, there's a guy who's playing his violin, isn't he? Playing no, he's playing the, the piano, proper piano. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's playing the piano. And there's an old lady who's got a keyboard. Yeah. And she's rocking out on the, Yeah. Electronic keyboard. And they're a, a Beethoven off, is what they're doing. Yes. Yes. And uh, Mindy comes in and says, stop that, stop that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think uh, the guy is her, her dad. dad. Yeah. And the, the old woman is her, is his mother-in-law. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they've obviously got some, a music shop. Yeah. It's their business. But, but the idea is, he's into classical and the older granny is yeah, actually into, into more modern rock, rock music. Yeah, she, she likes Alice Cooper and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. She likes all the modern stuff. Now, uh, now, Mork, a kid brings Mork in. He says, oh, the kid says, I found him wandering around. And he says, Oh, yeah, well, Mindy. Dad's talking to Mindy. Uh, yeah. Because she, she's 21. She's 21, apparently. Yeah. And he's saying, You know, oh, you know, I worry about you. And yeah. she says, Well, I'm a grown woman, Dad. You know, yeah. I can look after myself. Because she knows that he won't approve of, of Mork a man living there. Yeah. yeah. To her. But you say, That was Eugene. Eugene finds Mork and brings, oh, him, into the, brings yeah. him into the shop, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah. And you said he was looking for Mindy. Yeah. And said, oh, um, uh, Mindy said she'd promised to take him around the town, show yeah. him the sights. And Dad's not happy about this. No, he's not. And he's like, well, oh, you, you, you know this guy? And he, and I think it, Mork actually says that he's staying at Mindy's flat, doesn't he? He, did, he? Uh, he does, he nearly slips. Yeah. yeah, he goes. Because he doesn't lie. That's the yeah. point, isn't he? He doesn't know how to. So because Mindy says to him, that I, I said I'll show you around once I finish work. Work? What's a novel concept, he says. Yeah. <laughs> and his dad thinks he's like some beatnik or something, doesn't he? Hey, Mindy, look who I found wandering the streets looking for you. Uh -huh. Correction, munchkin-like person. I wasn't wondering. I was trying to explore your world. <laughs> he's new in town, Eugene. <laughs> Mork, I'll be happy to show you around after work. Work? Well, yes, most people have to work for a living. Hmm, what a novel concept. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy, uh... Who's your beatnik friend? Oh, Daddy, this is Mork. Mork, this is Mr. McConnell. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mork, he's my father. What an interesting position to be in. I tip my cripple out to you, sir. Do da, do da. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for my violin lessons. Thank you for taking me to your leader. Kizba. Ah. You. Where can I find you? I'll be at Mindy's place. Come by anytime. Hey, Doug, man. What it was, my main man. You'll be at Mindy's place? Yes, we're living together. Oh. <laughs> Catch you later, Jack, on the rebound clown. <laughs> and it's talk time, isn't it? Yes, it's she, talk time. So Mort goes and sits in the chair, yeah. but he sits, sits in it upside down. He sits with his head on the, uh, yes. on the actual cushion, yeah. Which is what he done when he was auditioning for the job. For Mork, oh, was originally. it? Yeah. <laughs> they said, said, yeah. And the producer said, well, we've never seen anyone more alien than you. <laughs> yeah. And Mork starts doing some voices, doesn't he? Yeah, and she's trying to get him to find his right voice. Yeah. Not too high, not too low. Yeah. That's right. And this is where he then retells the story. A flashback to Fonz. How he yeah. appeared in Happy Days. Uh, yeah, Fonz is at home and the Cunninghams are on vacation. And Fonz takes a phone call from <laughs> some gal. And it's Laverne, isn't it? No, she's not there yet. Oh, no. Yeah. And, and he says, oh, yeah, no, Richie's not here. Oh, that's right, yeah, it's but, Richie. Um, yeah. Uh, Arthur, no, Fonzarelli, I'm um, here. What do you mean you've never heard of me? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Is it your first day in town? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but then, yeah, Mork shows up. Mork shows up, and Fonzie starts telling him all about dating. Yes, he wants to find out about human dating. Human dating and all uh, that. What's, what is this thing, kissing? 
Yes. So Fonzie <laughs> sets him up on a date. Yeah. He's, this he's, is Laverne. He, he goes for up. a few number. He goes to quad triplets now. Yeah. Too much for him. Yeah. She's not not enough. Uh, oh, I know the perfect woman. Yeah. It's, it's Laverne, isn't it? And Mork dresses up as Richie, doesn't it he? Is, yeah. He, he comes. He, he comes downstairs wearing yeah. Richie's clothes. And um, he tells him all about his past experiences, yeah. doesn't he, and all that. And because Laverne's quite, oh, she quite likes him at first. Yeah, and she's like, he's a bit weird. He's very weird. Yeah, he's very strange. She goes, you know, even I, abs- you know. And she says, why, why is Fonzie set me up with this jerk? <laughs> she thinks, yeah. He's just because he sits on his head again. He does all this sort of stuff. And and he tries to get along with it, he copies her, doesn't he? Yeah, Everything she does, that's what he Fonz cop- says, if you have any doubt, just <laughs> do what she's doing and move, go along with it. Yeah. So he, he copies her literally everything she does. And then she touches Mork in a yeah, special, special place. place. And he yeah. goes through her earlobes then, doesn't he? Yeah, he goes mad, doesn't he? And she, she rejects him and he goes back to Hatchling State and he yeah. curls himself with the yeah. ball. <laughs> yeah, he chases around the house. <laughs> yeah. And then he's back in the room. Yeah, he's back in the room. He's now talking I can't about... actually written that. Back yeah. in the room. Yeah, he's now talking <laughs> back to Mindy. Yeah. Uh, he starts reading books and he's changing his voice again. And he's got his normal voice yeah. now. Yeah. And, she, and he's got lot. She says, remember the three rules, you know. The voice. Yeah. Don't drink with your finger. Yeah. And don't sit on your face. Yeah. And don't tell my dad we're living together. <laughs> yeah. But dad pops round. He's not happy. No, he comes round <laughs> to check on Mindy. Yeah. And they're both not happy. Yeah. <laughs> but he storms out, doesn't he? Yes. Then we're at his uh, sh- shop. Yeah, and the sheriff. Sheriff turns there, up. And yeah. he's, he's Telwick, I think. And he, dad talks to him. He says, uh, Mindy's with this dead yeah, beat. He's got this dead beat. And yeah. he says, oh, don't worry. I'll scare him yeah. off. Don't worry about that. I'll take care of it. So he goes to scare him off, doesn't oh, he? Oh, he says, oh, she's a loose woman. And he says, and I don't know how to tighten her. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? My daughter, my daughter is living with a man. Mindy? Oh, come on. That can't be. It's true, it's true. She's a loose woman and I don't know how to tighten her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't believe it. That's not the Mindy I know. All I know is I've done all I can. I can't do anything else. Well, there's something I can do. What? I'm a cop. I represent uh, law and order. <laughs> but he hasn't done anything illegal. Listen, you don't get the idea. Now, I'll just, I'll just whip over there and I'll just scare the daylights out of him. You know, hit the road, hamburger. Like that. <laughs> you do that for me? Sure. First thing in the morning when I get off duty. Really? Sure. So yeah, yeah. Uh, Mork's with the eggs. Yeah, Mork's talking to the eggs. eggs yeah, in the kitchen, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. <laughs> this is the famous. Ah, oh, fly, fly. fly. <laughs> I never realised it was in the pilot. No, no, did I? He must do it more than once. Well, I think it's in the opening credits. That's why it's so oh, famous. It? Yeah. yeah, I always remember it. Ah, oh, fly, be free. <laughs> and he just throws them. Doesn't he? And he goes, Ah, oh, you must be in hyper sleep or something. Yeah. So he starts putting them around the room. <laughs> he says, Yeah, this should help you out. <laughs> Put some more chairs on the cushions. Yeah. And the cop comes to visit more. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he says that he's the lowest form of life, isn't he? Because he's a beatnik and yeah, he's, yeah. he's sponging off of Mindy. Mindy and yeah, because he doesn't work. Yeah. And, and he goes, Oh, you, you, you obviously don't know. He, he says, What is the lowest form of life? Something like a Neba sort of thing. Yeah. He says, And uh, he gets, he sits down, but he sits on, on an egg. egg. He does. Yeah. Smoky! <laughs> Listen, kid, I don't belong to your fraternity, so watch where them secret handshakes. <laughs> Mindy McConnell here? Oh, no, she's at a place she calls work. A strange concept, but she enjoys it. Oh. And I suppose you don't like work. I don't know, never tried it. <laughs> I see, so you just sponge off Mindy. Oh, no, we've never taken a bath together. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you live off her. Listen, I've met your trap before, and you're just about the lowest form of life there is. Well, you better check up on your biology, then. <laughs> the lowest form of life is a gash, Bosch, and they ever call him Nibazich. So don't give me none of that intellectual mumbo jumbo. <laughs> I happen to be a good friend of the McConnell's, and I don't want to see Mindy hurt. Mindy hurt? I'd never allow it. Then I want you to take off. Take off? I just landed. <laughs> 
Now, listen here, Buster. I can make a lot of trouble for you. You see this here uniform? It is a uniform. I didn't want to make mention of it. Are you a member of Space Patrol? <laughs> Are you putting me on? Putting you on? You're not even hollow. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, right. Did Orson send you to help me with my friends, the eggs? Right. Oh! <laughs> Nimno, didn't you see him coming? How can I help you if you won't even help yourselves? He, he, the cop calls his dad. Calls well, well, he, goes, his he dad. goes back into the shop. Yeah. yeah and he says to just a... scare him off. He goes, not as such. Yeah, he says, I've arrested <laughs> him for his, with his own insanity. good. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's going to be a trial today yeah. to determine whether he's, um, so he's having a sanity here. Yeah, because there's something definitely wrong with him. <laughs> Fred, I gotta talk to you. Uh, did you scare him off? Well, he won't be bothering Mindy anymore, but I didn't scare him off. Well, what? I took him in. You what? Well, I just wanted you to get rid of him, not that. Well, I had to. Wasn't I didn't want to, but I had to do my duty. You think I enjoyed it? This is about work, isn't it? What have you done? Well, I... I just went up there to scare the little fella. It's not my job, but when I seen him, I knew I had to do my duty. As much as I hate it. What was your duty? Well, I know he's a friend of yours, but that guy is bonkers. I had to take him in. They're going to have a, a sanity hearing tomorrow, and I, I'm afraid they're going to put your friend away. Daddy, how could you? Tilwick, how could you? Mindy turns up. We've heard that. that yeah. The and, first into the meeting. Yeah. And Mindy gives a speech. She does. Saying how he's innocent, blah, blah, the, blah. The point about America is we should all be different. We can all be. Yeah. And we're not judged on our differences yeah. and stuff like that. And yes, yes. And, and what's it? They say Mork is incompetent or something. It's, it's, they? they call him childlike. Yeah. So Mork starts questioning the doctor. Well, uh, there's a bit where the, the uh, doctor says, I gave him, he put a square peg in a round hole. Yeah. And uh, Mork says, I couldn't get his fit at first, but I did eventually, didn't I? Because yeah. I can't get it out now, because <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> but I did it, he goes. Yeah. <laughs> but then, yeah, he, then he, he takes, he starts, he's been watching a lot of Barney Miller or something, isn't he? Yes. And he starts acting like a, yeah. a, a, like a, a cross-examination uh, lawyer. Uh, which he gets. <laughs> Is he, he's, I've got. He's got an ankle watch. He has got an ankle watch. Yeah, he always. Yeah. He and and the, the doctor says, "Look at this. He's got to be crazy. He's got a, a watch on his ankle." He goes, "Well, an ankle watch. If I had an ankle watch on my wrist, now that would be crazy." Yeah. <laughs> and he starts giving him a word test, doesn't he? He, he does word association. Yeah, Pamela. Pamela. Uh, yeah, that's it. Because he breaks it down that he's having an affair with Pamela, and she goes, "You said you'd tell no one." <laughs> and she runs out the room. Yeah. Then the other guy. It was, but Pamela, I thought it was me and you. Yeah. He runs out the room too. Then the doctor runs out the room. Yeah. And then all it leaves is Mork and his, his lawyer, who's just like 20 or something, yeah. isn't he? He's yeah, and the judge. School. And the judge. And, and, Mork, and Mindy and her dad. Yeah. And he says, well, I can't really have a hearing without the the doctor and the other people here. Yeah, the prosecutor or whatever. There's, yeah. there's no one to take notes for a start. Yeah. Because Pamela's gone. So he sits down yeah. on his head. Yeah. <laughs> he says, well, Mork wins. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now about these tests you ran that made you hate me. Your Honor, I don't hate this man, but yesterday during one of my tests he tried to put a square peg into a round hole. But I did it, Your Honor. <laughs> he did, he did, I don't know how he did it, but I can't get the peg out now and it ruined a perfectly good board. <laughs> and that's why you dislike me, Dr. Lindley, I can sense that. Your Honor, I don't have time for this, really. Oh, the time, excuse me, it's... <laughs> 10.36, exactly. You see, Your Honor, he's wearing a wristwatch on his ankle. No, Your Honor, I'm wearing an ankle watch on my ankle. If I was wearing an ankle watch on my wrist, then I'd be crazy. Your Honor, you see, he's a wiseacre. And you don't like wiseacres, do you, Dr. Litney? No, I don't. And that's why you're prejudiced against me. I didn't say that. You see how he's cleverly twisting my words, Your Honor? Oh, calling me clever now, Dr. Lidney. Isn't that another word for intelligent? <laughs> so you see, Your Honor, doesn't this case hinge on my ability to learn? Yes, it does, Your Honor. And by the way, he flunked his word association test outright yesterday. That's the test where I give him words like, uh, like... White. Black. Tall. Uh, short. Sky. Birds. Sex. Uh, Pamela. You said you'd never tell. 
Oh. <laughs> never tell, never tell. You, you promise. Now you ruined everything. Pamela, you and Lindley? I thought we were. Your Honor, I have a patient to take care of in a short while. Would you excuse me? No, please? he's not going anywhere without me. Going. Justice. Pamela! Pamela! Your Honor? Your Honor, the defense rests. <laughs> And then it ends because Mork now calls Orson. He does. What he did at the end of yeah. every episode. So, yeah. And he tells him about what he's learned. Yeah, and how Mindy stood up for him, even though she hardly knew him. And yeah, sort of yeah thing. She, she stands up for him. Yeah. And this is a, a concept of human. Yes. How they can fight for the innocent and blah, blah. And then it's Nanu Nanu. That's, that's it's done. <laughs> yeah, and that was it. Yeah. Come in, Orson. Mork calling Orson. Come in, Orson. More calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Come in, lazy breath. Watch it, Mork. I'm only 60 million light years away. Just tell me what you've learned about Earth. Oh, I've learned a lot. So much, it's hard to comprehend. It seems that everyone on this planet is an individual, and not only that, they're proud of it. Amazing. If everyone's different, how can a society function? Not very well. They almost locked me up because they thought my mind was imperfect. Hmm. Intelligent life. Orson, something very strange happened that really confuses me. I met this Earth girl and her biological father, and at my hearing, they came to my defense, especially the girl. She defied the system to protect me. Why would she do such a thing? I don't know. Must have something to do with emotions. Investigate the phenomenon closely. It's interesting behavior, even if it is irrational. Yes, it is. Orson, this may sound strange, but knowing that someone would do that for me, but it makes me feel really good inside. Just remember, Mort, you're sent there to observe, not to get involved. Yes, Your Immenseness. This is Mork signing off from Boulder, Colorado. Until next week. No, 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 no. And that was more Mindy. Like you say, there's too many jokes, visual and verbal, oh to God. even write them in. Yeah. <coughs> uh, originally, they were going to call it Mork from Mork. Yeah. Then they were going to call it the Mork Chronicles. But the producers feel people wouldn't know what the word Chronicles means. Yeah, fair point. It's America. <laughs> it is America. <laughs> yeah. And it became Mork and Mindy. Yeah, which they liked. They went straight with that one. And it is a classic. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, the writers used to leave gaps in the script for the improvisation. That oh, yeah. I was know coming. he is. Yeah. He's notorious for improvising. <laughs> uh, and they said, uh, more politely, he he, he he done a lot of coffee before... Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> before he... This he was him and John Belushi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> John Belushi liked a coffee as well, yeah. Yes, yes. They did like a lot of coffee <laughs> between them. And that's why it's so manic. <laughs> yes. And uh, John Belushi overdosed on coffee, I believe. <laughs> he did, yeah. <laughs> Which scared the hell out of Robin Williams. And, uh, and that's, that's, he straightened him out, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. straightened him out. Because they were very big mates. Because they are part of the Saturday Night Live yeah gang aren't they yeah I'm sure they must have yeah, yeah I think Dan Aykroyd and all that and obviously the Ghostbusters yeah. and it's all part of that yeah Belushi would have been in the Ghostbusters I believe yeah he, he was supposed to be yeah 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 because yeah. even Dan Aykroyd a huge man it was a different film before it was they were ghost catchers but there was lots of groups of ghost catchers or something yeah they were part of uh, yeah, yeah but it was all part of it but anyway hey, so Mork and Mindy yeah uh, it is it's a classic. It's just, he's so fun. He almost cracks her up a couple of times. He, he does, yeah. He, there are lots of YouTube And, and luckily the does. camera isn't on her at that scene because you can hear her laughing because she doesn't know what he's going to do. No, nobody knew <laughs> what he was going to do. do. Nobody right. knew. Um, and he would do like rewinds, wouldn't he? Yeah. And, was, yeah. and, and no one knew you'd do any of that. It's been said a lot of people, but Tour de France of uh, comedian acting is uh, yeah. just. He was just couldn't be touched, could he? No, he couldn't be. He, he just could not be. It, he, it's incredible what he could do. Yeah, out of nothing. 
it just the improvisation skill of him was just incredible. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, you'd see it on like talk shows and stuff, or people just generally talking to him, and suddenly he'd be doing a whole routine out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> just based on one idea. <laughs> yeah, and and, yeah. and you say no, no prop, no anything. Or yeah. he might have had a prop, might have been a, a cup of tea or something. Yeah. But he would just go off. Yeah. And you say he could do a whole routine. Yeah. He would be mad, yeah. and he'd have people in stitches, and then he'd just snap back in. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, how would he do that? Oh, I mean, obviously he done great work in serious roles as well. Well, well. Yeah, I think the first one he ever did, which I always thought was ser- kind of serious, was Good Morning Vietnam. Yeah, it's, it's half and half. Isn't it's it? half. Yeah, it starts off with him being funny, but he does. He gets towards a, the end. He starts. Yeah. And I think that was kind of one of the first ones I ever saw where. He's starting to prove I can do serious stuff. Yeah, and uh, there's the one. In, what's the one in the school? I can't remember. Uh, oh, uh, Captain, my captain, and all that. Uh, brain's just gone numb. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know the one. Oh, I can see That's it. like a very serious. Yes, role. and the Awakenings. He was in. Yes, and did you know the Awakenings was directed by Penny Marshall, who was Laverne. All oh, right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I always remember he did that one photo. Is it photo boom? Yeah, photo boom. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, but... That's a bit creepy. Yeah, yeah he could <laughs> he could turn his hand to most things. Did he? He won an Oscar for Good Will Hunting, didn't he? A uh, sporting actor. Yeah, I think so. I think he won an Oscar for that school one you're on about. I can't bloody think what it's called. Yeah. And obviously Mrs. Doubtfire, and you know just so many things that he could turn his hands to. Then he's the voice of the genie in oh, Aladdin. Yeah, that, that, that's rarity. Is that they did all these voice work before they even drew the cartoons because there was no point was there no because <laughs> no because he was just don't believe anyway so it was far easier just to get him to do everything and then we'll then we'll worry about what he's going to look like yeah it's the first thing he comes up in Miss Doubtfire but <laughs> oh, I'm looking I know I've seen it oh Dead Poets Society that's the one yeah yeah Dead Poets it's in there somewhere isn't it yeah he's just gonna, I'll bring it out yeah but to us, this was the first time we'd ever seen. Oh yeah, he was yeah. We'd never seen him before, apart from the the original Happy Days where he appears. And an absolutely huge, huge program. This number one yeah. in ratings. This no, it went on for four years, isn't it? So four seasons, yeah. Yeah, you think it's done more, but I suppose ninety-one episodes is an awful lot. Yes, for four seasons, what's that? It's nearly uh, thirty-five, I thirty think odd episodes. In season two, they got rid of the dad and the. Uh, Grandma, yeah, because they thought they wanted it to play to a more younger audience. But there was such an outcry, they had to bring them back. I, uh, I know Dad's in it nearly yeah. all the way through. I'm not sure Grandma, but yeah. And then they had a son, didn't they? Later on, when they got together, they had a, a fully grown son. That's right. Yes, yes, they did. Yeah. I don't remember really watching it back then. No. Yeah. I mean, I watched the first couple of seasons, and then I and think you, I lost got, interest a in bit. In a way, you got to think things like uh, Third What from the Sun must yeah. be a kind of spin-off from this. It's got to be, isn't it's it? It's not a spin-off, but it's it's in yeah. the sense of the same characters. But they certainly used the same pre- precepts, didn't they? They're aliens, they try to fit in. Yeah, that's it. It is, is more or less, isn't it? Yeah. And it's comic things, but instead of it being one person, with them it's four, isn't it? Four, yes, I think there's four of them, yeah. So they can widen their uh, so, storyline yeah, yeah by having four different stories going at once but uh yeah mork was uh, was something else and everybody did nano nano and mork oh, God. olsen because obviously his handshake is the the vulcan salute but you know done as a handshake yes and that's where they got it from and olsen is called awesome because of awesome wells and awesome wells because it's the voice isn't it and, yeah yeah well it wasn't actually Orson awesome wells doing the voice no, it? but no. yeah it's the dark voice it's ralph james who did the voice apparently all oh, right okay, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, there's so many little visual bits. But uh, I say, always remember Fly Be Free. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's always one of my favourite <laughs> bits. <laughs> but, uh, and you're kind of waiting, how on earth, in some ways, how did they get it to go to 91 episodes? <laughs> but it's just him ab libbing so yeah. much. Maybe they must just have thought, oh, we could write an episode about that. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. We'll do, one, we'll do that one later. <laughs> we'll save that and do this one. <laughs> Yeah, it must it must have been a riot to have actually filmed that. Yes, apparently, because um, it's set in Colorado or somewhere, is it? Something like that. And uh, uh, the outside of our house is still the most famous thing in there, Colorado, apparently. Was it right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Because I remember she used to drive that Jeep, didn't she? And he's always be with his legs dangling out the top. That's right. Sitting on his head. <laughs> sitting on his head. Yeah, he must have thought after a while, I think, oh, this was a bad idea, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> Why did I do this? <laughs> yeah. Still, it got me the job. Yes, he did. And he always wore that rainbow coloured top. Yeah, it was very. Puffer jacket. Yeah, yeah. He always wore the puffer jacket or the rainbow t shirt. Yes, it, yeah, yeah. And the rainbow t shirt. Suspenders, you got yeah. the suspenders. Oh, yeah, yeah, the suspenders, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very funny. And what would you rate this as an episode, though? <laughs> We know he's funny, but was did this work? Yeah, well, did it work as an episode? He was uh, a possibly, bit, yes. I, I thought it was a bit. Yeah, absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. I really enjoyed watching it yeah. again. I'll, I'll <laughs> give it an eight point five. <laughs> right. It's a bit better than Columbo. Columbo was good for his laughs. I'll yeah. give him that. But... I'm going in at a nine because yeah. I thought it stood up. <coughs> it stood the test of time, oh, and I it was still the whole series. Again. It was still easily funny. It's just him. It's just. Yeah, he's Robert. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you why they bothered with the script. <laughs> they probably didn't after a while. John, the script writers went, why do we bother? Why do we bother? Yeah. He doesn't listen to a word we say. Uh, so next week, what are we going to be doing? Well, well, I thought we had such a good time with Columbo. <laughs> uh, if only we, mm, there was more programmes like Columbo. I told, have you found the cartoon? No. <laughs> well, what I have found is Mrs. Columbo. Oh. <laughs> The, the, woman be, talk- the woman he talks about all the time, it's yep. got to be great. You can picture in your head what she's going to look oh, like. Oh yeah, shabby raincoat. Then throw that out. <laughs> <laughs> Immaculate raincoat. You thought that psychiatrist was batting young. <laughs> Wait till she's in Clumbo's wife. Uh, fair enough. Point made. <laughs> Until next time. Until next time. Nano, nano. <laughs>